Today on Ballistic Burgers, I'm going to be making for you my copycat version of Sonic's Bacon Jam Cheeseburger. Let's get going. Recently, I've been getting a lot of requests to recreate this burger, and I had the opportunity to try it yesterday, and I really liked it. Thought, let's do it. It's a simple burger, elevated. So we're gonna start off with a really good, really simple bacon jam. So as you can see, the bacon's already chopped and I simply have the skillet sitting on top of the flat top. I'm running the first two burners at about a, between medium and medium high. And when I'm done with this recipe, when I'm completely done making this bacon jam, I will post all the ingredients I've used with the measurements on the screen here so you can screen grab it. And then down in the description box, I'll have the whole recipe, including all the instructions. Easy stuff. All right, so this is what I'm looking for. Nice, golden brown, crispy. I'm going to go ahead and remove the bacon from the skillet. And I'm just putting it on a paper towel on a plate. And I'm gonna remove just a little of this oil. I wanna leave a good tablespoon of this bacon grease in here though. Now during that cook, I did turn the temperature up a little bit to uh, the high end of medium high. So I'm gonna turn it down okay, into about a medium. Now I'm going to add some very finely minced onion. Now we're going to caramelize this and I'm not going to be in a hurry. I, again, I want these to become caramelized, not fried. So medium heat and I'm just going to keep it moving, keep stirring these onions. All right, these are looking good. As you can see, they're getting that really nice, beautiful golden brown color. The onions have really broken down. They're basically starting to melt. Now we're going to add some maple syrup. Get the good stuff, get the real maple syrup. Some brown sugar, some apple cider vinegar. And this is unfiltered, so it has a kind of a murky look to it. Some minced dehydrated garlic and some smoked paprika. Just get it mixed up. Wow, it's already starting to smell really, really good. That maple syrup hitting it. So I wanna get this heated up to where it just starts to bubble. I want that dehydrated garlic to start hydrating. So you can do this days in advance if you wish. And honestly, I would suggest if you are going to do this, especially for burgers, do it ahead of time. Just a couple days ahead, throw it in a jar, put it in the fridge, you're good to go. So basically now you just wanna get the consistency, you want that nice kind of jammy consistency. Bear in mind that as this cools, it's going to stiffen up even more. And there we go, that looks good. So now I'm just going to get this into a glass bowl, allow it to cool a little bit more. And again, it's, it's going to thicken up as it cools. And here's what we ended up with, a little over a half a cup. So I'm still running the flat top at medium high, just these two burners right here. And now we're gonna cook some bacon and Sonic uses some very thin bacon, which I love thick bacon, but really thin bacon, it gives you that kind of porky potato chip kind of texture, which I also like. And with burgers, I love using, you know, a bacon weight just to keep the bacon looking nice and straight, nice and flat. Two at once, should get a word for that. All right, I'm gonna pull the bacon off, put it on that side without the burners on, which is still nice and warm. It's going to keep the bacon nice and warm for the sandwich here. Okay, now I'm going to start toasting some buns here. And this is what their, the, this sounds kind of funny. This is what their buns look like. I don't know if it's the same brand, but they have that seam that bun crack on the top. <laughs> Buns are looking good. I have plans for this one. Right now I'm just setting them off to the side. One quarter pound patty, 80-20 ground chuck. And I formed this using one of my burger rings just before I started this video. 
a little salt, fresh ground pepper. On a patty this thin, me personally, I don't salt both sides anymore. I'm just now they advertise melty cheese on that bottom bun. So I'm going to go ahead and lay this bottom bun back down there. Dome it. All right, we'll give this a flip. Looking melty to me. Add some of that bacon jam. Patty down. Those two strips of bacon. Looks good. <laughs> now that top bun. Going to add some mayo. Some yellow mustard. And crown. And I give you my copycat of Sonic's bacon jam cheeseburger. Looks good. <laughs> it smells good. Let's give this a try. So I have the taste. Definitely nailed the texture with the bacon. Mm. Again, this jam is something you want to set up. I would have liked to have had a little bit more time for that to happen. I probably should have made a batch last night and had it ready for the actual building of the burger, but the flavors there, getting the sweetness and the savoriness combined smokiness from the paprika so I'm a real big fan of burgers like this that kind of play with your senses and there's um, it's such a simple burger but there's a lot going on I mean that jam again you get that nice savory porky bacony flavor then you're getting kind of slapped around a little bit with the maple and the brown sugar sweetness but, but it balances each other off I mean so it's not overly sweet at all. It's not overly bacony with all this bacon on it because again the jam kind of it balances itself. Then you get into the nice thin again it's like pork potato chips those really thin slices of bacon. It I don't think they're cheaping out I think it's by design because it really works. I'm really when I shop for bacon I'm always trying to buy the thickest cuts I can, but I'm really starting to think there are definitely occasions where you want this really nice thin bacon. Then the simple condiments, I mean, mayo and mustard. And, and it's funny because I, one thing I noticed when I tried this burger yesterday is you, you really get that snap of that yellow mustard. It, it's, it's just a really good burger. I like it. So thank you guys for suggesting it, those who did. Anyway, Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate your views. If you're not subscribed, please take a moment and hit that red button. Make sure you hit the notification bell. And if you liked the video, hope you did. Thumb it up. I will see you on the next video. Cheers.